Hello, I'm Shamir Mehta. I'm the principal investigator of the complete trial, and we are in Paris, France, at the European Society of Cardiology meeting, where yesterday, in a hotline session, we presented the primary results of the complete trial, also published simultaneously in the New England Journal of Medicine. Complete was a large multinational trial involving 4,000 patients and addressing the question of whether a strategy of complete revascularization compared with culprit lesion only revascularization in patients with STEMI and multivessel disease would prevent hard clinical outcomes, including a composite of cardiovascular death or myocardial infarction. The trial enrolled uh, approximately 4,000 patients from 130 centers in 31 countries. Um, the largest contributions came from Europe and North America. Uh, patients were then randomized in a one-to-one -one fashion to receive an angiographically guided complete revascularization approach using drug eluting stents, or they were randomized to receive culprit lesion only uh, medical management. Both groups received guideline directed medical management and that included aspirin and a P2Y12 inhibitor and uh, the P2Y12 inhibitor recommended by the protocol was, uh, was ticagrelor and approximately 75% in the of patients in the trial had either ticagrelor or prasugrel so that the results of the complete revascularization are on top of excellent uh, dual antiplatelet therapy. The primary results of the trial uh, looking at the first co-primary outcome of cardiovascular death or new myocardial infarction demonstrated a 26 percent relative risk reduction in this outcome. This was highly significant with a p-value of 0.004. The second co-primary outcome, including cardiovascular death, MI, or ischemia-driven revascularization, was reduced by 49%, and the p-value there was less than 0.001. So for both co-primary outcomes, there was a substantial reduction. Uh, and the most important uh, finding, I think, is the reduction in uh, new non-fatal myocardial infarction, fatal or non-fatal myocardial infarction. Uh, this was reduced by 32%. It was highly significant. Um, the type of MIs that were reduced were both STEMI as well as non-STEMI uh, and the, uh, according to the classification of the MI, the vast majority were the type 1 MIs that were reduced in the trial, spontaneous uh, myocardial infarction. The Kaplan-Meier curves for the heart outcomes of CV death or MI separated slightly, but uh, there was divergence that continued uh, all through the course of the trial. The follow-up in the trial was three years, and the longest patient was followed up for out to five years with continued divergence of the Kaplan-Meier curves. Um, so a, a, a very clear result uh, for the first time showing that a strategy of complete revascularization in STEMI with multivessel disease reduces heart outcomes.